I just... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hello? Johnny May. I'll come up. It's Jason. I'm sorry, I don't know what just... No, 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 Marcus, I'm sorry. Oh, my God. Hiya. Hiya. Mm. Well? Good news. Yes, good news, yeah. The lump was benign. Benign? Oh, that's amazing news. Come here. Oh! <laughs> yeah, we've um, just been celebrating with a drink, haven't we? Oh, nice one. I bet you're so relieved. Yes, I am. <laughs> I want to go for anything like that again. Oh, well, any excuse for a drink, eh? <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> Do you know, I've been so worried. When I didn't hear from you, I just thought that... Oh, jeez, I'm sorry. No, I, I am. Um, my head's just been all over the place. Hasn't it, Marcus? Yeah, yeah, n not thinking straight. Right, you ready to go to mum's? I know what. Um, can you just give me five minutes? I just want to sort my hair out. Do you know, I spend half my time waiting for her to do her hair. You know, you're so lucky when to blokes you. Uh, <laughs> ain't that the truth? <laughs> um, Jace, look, why don't you go over and we'll follow you? I'm not going to be long. Yeah, all right. I'll, um, I'll line some drinks up. I'll see you there. <laughs> see you. See ya. What just happened there? <laughs> What a wonderful sight, Anna. Think big and your dreams will come to fruition. Oh, I could dance a jig. Yeah, well, we've not got time to dance a jig. Well, at least a few flamenco stops. Oh! Oh, I, I think I've spilled a bit of gazpacho there, Clive. Oh, Mary, Rita and them lot are here. Oh, excellent. Clough. Heavens, isn't it popular? It is. I've never seen it so full. Do you think we'll get a table? Of course we'll get a table. Mary's reserved one for us. <laughs> Welcome to Spanish night, one and all. <laughs> this is going to be fun. <laughs> a lot of people think I must be Spanish, what with my colouring. Oh, really? <laughs> oh, yes. So I think I have a natural attitude. Follow me to your table, por favor. <laughs> <laughs> Roy would be really impressed with this, wouldn't he, Rita? He would indeed. Thank you. Menus? I'll be back in two ticks to take your order. I'm currently dealing with the gazpacho based health and safety issue. <laughs> I am so, so sorry, Marcus. I don't know where that came from. Are you all right? I, I, look, I just think we've let the emotions of the day run away with us. I, I'm gay, Maria. No. I've got a boyfriend. I don't. Mess around with anyone, and I don't. Well, I've certainly never messed around with a woman before. I'm so sorry. We're friends, really good friends. I, I adore you. I love you to bits. I love you too. But not like mm. that. And I don't think we should throw away our friendship for something so stupid. We, we, we can't. We we got to be grown ups about it. Yeah. No, I agree. I I absolutely agree. And you've got Jason. No. I think we should just. Just pretend it never happened. Just go to the party. Marcus, it's not going to happen again. You do believe me, don't you? Like, I'm really not going to be pouncing on you every time you come in the front door. No, I know. It's just been such a weird day. Yeah. I'll just go and get my bag. I don't want to dance anymore. Well, you're a really good mover. Am I? Yeah, like you got ants oh. in your pants. Oh, hey, do you remember when we were together and I used to call you two left feet? It's changed a lot since we were you, Joe. All right. Fine. I'm just going to go and check in on Eileen. I don't want her thinking I'm having a sloppy seconds. Jason. <laughs> Don't we're here tonight? Yeah, she'll be in a bit. She's doing that. Oh, we are honoured. Hey, don't be like that. Well, long as she treats you all right. Did you like your present, Eileen? Oh, I did. Thank you. Aww. What did you get? Oh, I got this beautiful book full of lovely poems about sisters. I thought it was really apt. It sounds like it. What did Paul get you? Perfume. Is it gorgeous? Oh, it's really citrusy. Oh, I love citrus. You can always suck a lemon. Um, mini pizza, Aiden? I'm not really doing carbs at the moment. Oh, well, you could always pick up a topping and have a nibble. No, you're all right. How about a mini sausage? Ooh, it's like a miniature party. Sorry? Nothing. Where's Marcus? I don't know. Well, that meal turn up. Punctuality was never one of his strong points. <laughs> <clears throat> Can I 
just say? Say whatever you want, Wendy. I'm a great believer in freedom of speech. Well, just a very big thank you for your support back there. Well, I supported you, Wendy, because I believed in your argument. Libraries over computers every time. Oh, do you think Brian will tell Deirdre how you're my number one fan? I hope not, eh? Have you told her with... Where well, what? Colleagues. Not yet. So I'm very grateful, and I... Well, I've got you a little something. Oh, Wendy. It's nothing much, just for tomorrow. I'm surprised you've remembered the date. Well, it is exactly two weeks after mine. Some things you don't forget. It's all about me. Don't open it until tomorrow, though, please. OK, then I won't. It's actually something I got when, um, when we were together. Never got a chance to give it to you. You kept it all those years? I'm a bit of a hoarder. I mean, I'm not as bad as some of those people you see on the telly who have to fight 16 typewriters and eight cat beds to get to the toilet, but I do find it hard to let go sometimes of the important stuff. I'm so sorry. I, I behaved so badly. No, you didn't. Not really. I let you down. Oh, it's all water under the bridge, Ken. Don't give yourself a hard time. Thanks. Oh, so sweet. Someone's been busy. There's no harm in spoiling my woman. Oh, and she's been a good girl. You're an angel, are you? Sit down before it gets cold. Looks lovely. Can't be a bit of home cooking. Mmm. Mm. Might need a bit of salt. Mm -mm. It's perfect as it is. Some. Mm. You know what happened earlier with Kevin? I know it's a difficult time, but... Well, you want to try and put that out of your mind right now? I know. I know I have. Good. And I've put an advert in the Gazette already. Good for you. Actually, um, I think this needs a few more seconds in the microwave. I'm sorry. No, no, don't worry. It's nice. I was thinking, though, is... Is this really the best arrangement for us? I don't want you falling out with Kevin. Stuff him. We've been through this. I'm staying home, you're going to work. End of. Just don't want to force you into something you don't want to do. It's all good. No, we didn't have that surprise party exactly a year ago today. We'd never have met. Well, we could always go up on the factory roof, stick your head in some railings and recreate our magic moment. Mm. It's a lot happening, then. Eh? Yeah. Yeah. Happy birthday, lover. You wish. <laughs> Happy birthday, Eileen. Yeah. Is Jace about? In the kitchen. I'm so sorry. Late? Have you been stood here like a lemon? But did you not check your phone? You've had about a million missed calls. Oh, it's been on silent. Let me get a drink and then I'll explain to you where I've been. Okay. Hiya. Hey, uh... You all right? Yeah. Uh, sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm going to have to go. Brian's had a pig of a day and he needs to offload. I, I bring him here, but I don't think he's up to socialising. It's OK. I'll work on him. Yeah. <laughs> How are you feeling? I don't know. A bit worried about him a bit too hard on Jenna. Maybe Jenna's been a bit too hard on you. It's not easy, all of this. I know it's been a year since he died, but it still feels so new. I've tried to move on, stood up to Aunt Jenna, but I don't know. It just feels like I always make a mess of things. So where'd you fancy going for something to eat? Are you sure you don't want to go to Eileen's party? I do, but I can always go later. Curry would be good. Well, all right. <laughs> OK, well, I uh, hope to see you soon. Hiya. Hi, love. I just had another cancellation. Oh, no. I could quite happily wring Mary's neck. I've just been past the cafe. Oh, yeah? It wasn't like it was before. It was really busy. You joking? Wish I was. With music, laughter. I thought it was meant to be a Spanish evening, not stand-up comedy. I not believe my eyes. Where are you going? I'm going to see for myself. Wait for me. 
you know what? I feel a bit tipsy. I might have to top this up with some water. It's all right, you're celebrating. I say go for it. Well, I just said that I'd done you a dinner enough this week without me getting leather tonight. So <laughs> that I can cope with it. I've got broad shoulders, mate. What are you planning on carrying me home? Well, that depends where home is. Cos I was thinking, now you've had the all clear and the worries out of the way, whether you still up for me moving in. I mean, I understand if you've gone off the idea, I don't... No, no, of course I'm not. Don't be tough, no, I'd love you to move in. Really? Yeah, let's do it tonight. Tonight? Yes! <laughs> <laughs> I've had pie, Anna. <laughs> really, Emily? I don't think I'll be having it again. Well, I think it's very nice. But it's got a kick to it. Mm. Oh, I fancy you must have a more adventurous palate than mine, Rita. Well, you're never too old to try things, Emily. New things, you know, within reason. That doesn't mean I shall be dusting off my leotard to go for my Zumba lesson. <laughs> Zumba? It's like an exercise class. It's a sort of 21st century pop mobility. I think I'd rather have pie, Emma. <laughs> <laughs> right. I see what you mean. Oh, it's very crowded. It's making me feel claustrophobic. I think I'll call somebody and complain. And is she allowed to sell booze? Yeah, well, if you bring your own, yes. Oh, it smells rather good, doesn't it? What a resounding success. And just think, there's so many other places in the world that Roy's Rolls could go to. Aye. Caramba. Come on. Let's go. Why don't we go out some? What were you thinking? I don't know. Up the village? I could do. Well, Eileen, mind? No, she'll understand. Come on, we'll have a laugh. Yeah, OK. I'll just finish this. Right. Mini chocolate roll? No, thanks. <clears throat> Is it because Sean's here? What? Yeah, yeah, no, it's just messing with my head a little bit. Right, well, I'd better put some stuff in a bag, eh? Yeah, get all them stairs, baby. Well, hey. <laughs> He's a lovely lad, you know, but he sees what you get. He's got no side to him, so you can rely on him. No, no, I really like him. Just as long as you're sure you want him to move in. Why? You don't seem too happy about it. No, as long as you're sure you know what you're doing. I mean, once he's gone, I want him gone for good. I don't want him coming back every five minutes, breaking his arm. <laughs> Well, I'm not going to hurt him, Eileen. Good. Yeah, he's just got loads of plans for his bedroom, man. <laughs> hey. <sighs> I don't know where Ken's got to. No? Yeah, I'm supposed to be making him a special pre-birthday tea and all. Oh, we're going to make him? Egg and chips. He oh, loves egg and chips. Oh, don't. You're going to make my stomach rumble. <laughs> mm. uh, I just think a quiet drink, don't you? Whatever you say, soldier. Why, did you? Hi, Jack, I can't believe your governor's meeting's gone on this long. Could have been needing air cut in a bit. <laughs> Sorry? Well, what have you been chinwagging about till this time? Tina, never marry a school governor. Oh, I remember that. Um, it finished hours ago, Deirdre. Did it? Yeah. Brian's been moping about on his lonesome in the flat. I've had to force him to come out. Well, that's funny, because I'm sure Ken said he was coming in here straight after it finished. Really? Yeah. Oh. Where's he got to, then? The dirty stop out. Yeah, tell me about it. I, I, I'm sure he's just been uh, <clears throat> waylaid on official business or something. Pint half of cider, please. Okay, OK. Marcus. Oh, hey, You're right. Uh, yeah, listen. Uh, me and Aiden are just... Jason's moving in tonight. I just thought you should know. Oh, right. <laughs> Finally. <laughs> what, changed your mind? No, I've not changed my mind. It's just... Well, things got in the way this week, wasn't it? Yeah, no, I'm not having a go. No, I know you're not. I just, you know, you're cool with it, aren't you? Yeah, of course. Why wouldn't I be? Great, thanks. Yeah. Anyway, me and Aidan are just going to go into town, so... All right, well, have a nice time. Cheers. Yeah, have a good time, lads. Well, we're only going up the village. You don't mind, do you? I mean, oh, I love to see people enjoying themselves. Might come with you. Hey, behave, eh? Got yourself a new housemate, Marcus. Yeah, I know. Right, I'll get the rest of my stuff tomorrow, ma'am. Right, well, um, well, we'll be back later. Well, I will. I, d I don't know if we're not sure yet. Possibly, yeah. Have a nice night, lads. Give Canal Street a big kiss from me. Will do. <laughs> I just want to nip back and change my jeans. <laughs> so gay. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah. I give it six weeks. Aw, don't say that, Sean. <laughs> what I'm amazed about is what a slick operation it was. That paella smelled lovely. 
Mary, who'd have thought she had it in her? Well, it's the quiet ones that are always the worst. Maybe you should head, Hunter. <laughs> you imagine? <laughs> yeah, maybe not. <laughs> yeah, she might as well walk in here and taking the money right out of the till. Maybe we should get our own back on her. Mary? Yeah. How? Dunno. know. Actually, scrap that. I do know how. I know exactly how to get her where it hurts. Well, that's rather a large measure. Who are you, the Prohibition Police? I thought you wanted to get changed. I do. I just want to have a drink first. It's not against the law, is it? Not that I'm aware of. Well, then. Why was Sean doing your head in? Oh, he just does my head in by... What, just by being there? Must be tough, I suppose. Oh, no suppose about it. Here, get that down your neck. Cheers. Hmm. You know... No, we're back here. I'm not sure I can be bothered going out. Well, we are. End of. Why are you snapping at me? I'm not. OK. You're not. All right, well, if we don't go out, what do you suggest we do, then? Well, could go and get us a bottle of wine. We could snuggle up on the sofa, see what's on the telly. Might be a good film on. Shall I check the planner? I don't want to stay in, Aidan. Maria and Jason are going to oh, be back. all right. Yeah, but it's... not exactly conducive to intimacy, is it? Well, then. We could have an early night. I'm not tired. Neither am I. I just want to go out, all right? Have a bit of a wild one. I want to show you off. All right. So I'm your trophy wife, then, am I? Mm, my very own eye candy. Flattery, young man, will get you everywhere. Hmm. Well, that's the intention. Right, you put the telly on if you want. I'm going to go and freshen up and make myself look fabulous. All right. See you in a couple of hours, then. Cheeky. Here, get another drink. OK, you're knocking them back tonight, aren't you? Oh, I'm mad, me. Hey, look at us. Last to leave. Oh, oh, I was so so Mary. Thank you. Compliments to the chef. Thank Bye, you. Mary. Bye, Bye Anna. Oh, good night, Dennis. <laughs> oh, you look how I feel. Oh, I feel like I've just trekked to the Himalayas in my Crocs. Oh. It was a good night, though, wasn't it? Wonderful. Hey, I've got to hand it to you, Mary. What a brilliant idea. You know, a one-off night special. We've made a fortune. <laughs> <sighs> it is a one-off night, isn't it, Mary? No. With success like that, there's going to be many more to come. <laughs> Kirsty? Yeah, everything's good, so... Oh, well, that's great, isn't it? Yeah, top. I'm glad you're doing all right. That's really good news. Yeah, listen, my best, Yeah, then. yeah, of course. I'll... I'll see you later. See ya. Who are you talking to? What? Out there, you're talking to someone. I don't know, no one. I wasn't talking to no one. That's a double negative. It means you must have been. Probably the party next door. Hello, Deirdre. Hi. Ah, your chips are burnt. How was your meeting? Oh, long, lugubrious, dull. Ah, poor thing. Yeah, I sometimes wonder if committees like that are just arenas of small-time snobs to further their own agenda. But let's not talk about that. I'm home now. That's the main thing. So, uh, have you just finished? What? Oh, no. No, I, I finished a while back. So I went to the flying horse with Brian. With Brian? <laughs> you gods, can that man talk? <laughs> yes, he does go on a bit, doesn't he? So, I survived. For now. <laughs> <laughs> Indeed. So, Eileen? If you fancy it. Oh, well, she's your friend, so yeah. Brilliant. Lloyd, do you mind me asking? Was there ever anything between me and Eileen? No, not ever, no, never, no, never, no, nay. <laughs> no. I mean all of this. You being so nice to me, putting me up, putting up with me. Huh? 
Is it for Jenna's sake or because you want to get back with me? It's for Jenna's sake. Can't believe you asked that. All right, sorry. <sighs> Hey, look, there's Marks and Thingy. Oh, yeah? <laughs> you're all right, aren't you? I mean, you're not having second thoughts. No, no, don't be daft. Yeah? No, I can't wait to get you settled then. <laughs> you know. Well, from a rapid rise to fame, the death of one of his bandmates in a very public affair. Ronan Keating opens up to Piers Morgan on Life Stories, next tonight. <laughs>